Pro AI. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and I'm gonna show you what it is, why to use it, when to use it, and by the end of this video, you will be an expert on algorithm DJ artificial intelligence. I'm gonna show you over my shoulder each menu, where to find it, what buttons to press, what it actually does, and why you would use it in a mix. And I'm gonna give you examples and everything you need to know. So let's get started right now. I'm gonna launch the app. I'm gonna put my iPad right here and you guys are gonna watch over my shoulder exactly how to take full advantage of DJ Pro's artificial intelligence. All right, so here we go. This is the main screen that you're gonna see when you first open the app. I have two songs loaded up. Now, the first feature of artificial intelligence on this screen is down here with it where you see the N. This is stands for Nero Mix. So if you want to use it quickly from this menu, what you're going to do is move it to the left. You move it to the left and it's only the instrumentals of the song. So I'll show you. This song, this is it in the middle, the regular song. Let me make it a little bit lower for you guys. Okay, this is the regular song. We're gonna go all the way to the left. Just the beat. So this is great for a mashup. You go to the other deck and you pick a song that you wanna have just the vocals. And you made your own song and you made a mashup. And now if we go all the way to the right, it's just the vocals. So you could have so much fun with this there's absolutely no limit to what you can do with just having that one little option from this menu. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the next menu. If you press the, this is for the volumes, it's more of, it's a mixer in the middle. This doesn't give you any access to Nero Mix. Clicking over here is the waveform. So when you see the waveforms, they change when you do Nero Mix. So look at the waveform now, and now it's gonna go just to vocals. That's just the vocals. So these are just vocals, and then as you go over here, you just see the waveform for the instrumental. So as you do this, like, like me, if you mix every day for a couple hours, you will get to know just by looking at this, at the waveform, if it's gonna be a, a vocal, or it's gonna be just instrumental. Cause the one, the one rule you don't wanna break when you're DJing is don't have two songs vocals playing at the same time. What this'll do is it'll confuse people, give them a headache, and it's impossible for your brain to process two different vocals talking on top of each other. In some instances, you, you could have them and they complement each other, but you really have to know the song. So a really quick way to make sure that you're not playing two vocals is just come over here, switch it to instrumentals, and then you don't have to worry that you forgot that there's a vocal there. All right, so that's with the waveforms. That's from this screen. I'll show you in the other screen what the waveforms look like. And now over here, this is just your sampler. Go DJ! You could use that as Go, DJ. So you play a song with just so you're playing just the instrumental. Go DJ. So you can make your own song if you record your own samples. I made a video. I'll leave a card up top so you can see that video on how to make your own samples. You could make your own song. So you find the beat and then you do a recording. I'll show you guys really quick. you just hey. click, click the record Base. button. I made a video on the sampler, very in-depth one. I'm gonna do another one too. So if you want more information on the sampler, which is really fun, check out those videos. But let's keep this moving. We're gonna go 
to the next screen. The next screen is going to be if you press this down here, this is going to give you access to your mixer, to effects, and everything. So over here, this is just your mixer, low, high, everybody knows what that is, filter, cool. You got cue points, you got a looper, FX, and then this is the new one, Neuro Mix. And now this one, you get a more in-depth control over the, the vocals and the instrumentals. You get on the left is the drum. So if you have just the drums playing, all you're gonna hear is the drum. Harmonic is like if there's an instrument or it's like the melody. So if you want to just add the melody, you can. Or if you want to want to mix in a song really slowly, you could do it with, with these sliders. And now, let's say you're playing a song and you want to get rid of the drums really quick. The whole column is not playing. So, so if you quickly want to go no vocals, you got it. And now if you only you want the song to play, you can click this one. So it's if you don't want it, you press the X over there. If you do want it, you click it. And then you just have the drum. So get used to what you want to do with the Nero mix and use this as an option. Instead of playing one song's drums and then another song's highs, you could use this and actually have one song drums and harmonics and then another song's only vocal or if it goes good together you could have a song's vocals and a song's drums and harmonics playing it's however you want to do it there's a limitless possibilities with this if you click up here you have more control you could just do two so you got instruments and acapellas it does basically the same thing as this slider at the bottom it just gets rid of the melody part harmonics and then next is you can do even more you have four so now you have drums bass harmonics and vocals so you could be playing just the drum and bass or you could do just the harmonics and vocals and then you have a song on the opposite deck playing just the drum and the bass or just the harmonics okay so if you look at this, you have full control, four different separate columns to control the bass, drums, harmonics, and vocals. And this all uses artificial technology, and you could see it change the waveform. It does this in real time. It's amazing. No other DJ software had this before. They're starting to, they're starting to add it now. But DJ Pro by Algorithm was the first one to have this amazing technology. Okay, so now going to the next screen. So now we're back at the beginning. The, the next screen with Auto Mix is going to be in two deck mode. So now this is two deck mode. This is what it looks like when you open two deck mode. You have the waveforms up, up here. And then down here, you have a very good access to your library. This is the screen I leave it on 90% of the time when I'm DJing, and I'm gonna show you why. So again, you the, you got the quick access, real quick to the Nero mix. Down here, instrumentals, vocals. And then if you see the waveforms, you get a more a better view of the waveforms in this screen, I, in my opinion. So there you go. That's how you access Nero Mix from the screen right away. And now the same thing over here. You press the the mixer, I guess that's the mixer icon, and then you have your access again. You click up here, three. I usually keep it on three. I don't usually do the fourth. So it's up to you, however your style of mixing goes with it. And yeah, it's pretty much the, the same as the other screen as classic mode except it's set up a little bit differently and if you want to access it you can access it this is full screen you can have it full screen or not full screen on your waveforms and also another way to use the artificial intelligence in this screen is you go over here 
and you can start a auto mix. So this feature's a little bit hidden. So you're gonna press this little arrow on top of the library, then you press that and you can start an auto mix. And then it mixes in the songs from the playlist that you're playing and it uses the artificial technology to do transitions and to mix the songs perfectly. So you don't even have to do anything. So let's say you're DJ and everything's going well and you gotta go use the bathroom, you wanna go grab a drink or something, you just do start auto mix and then when the song ends, it's gonna be mixed into the next song using artificial technology. It chooses the transition, it chooses when to start the song, when to end the song, and it's amazing. It's the best auto mix out there for any DJ software, in my opinion. So that's how you're gonna use the artificial intelligence in this screen. All right, so now we're gonna leave the two deck screen because we know every way to use the artificial intelligence in this screen. So now let's go to our looper. In the looper, you can have a song playing up here at the top. Go to just, just the words, just the vocal, and then you can start a beat. Let's start a beat. Alright, that's kind of bad. Let's start a different one. I'll go over it for you guys. Alright, we got a beat, and then we have sync on. If you have sync on, it's going to automatically sync the song that you're playing up here on deck one with the beat. And then to stop the auto mix that you were recording, you just press the play pause button. So you can make your own song. Let's say there's a song you like and you take the vocals from that song and then you can just create a beat and DJ Pro gives you access to, I don't even, I never counted it before, but it's like 20 or 30. This one's my favorite. This is Analog Techno. Old school. Each of these um, are meant to be played at different BPMs, so try to find one that's in the same BPM as the vocals that you're using so you don't get chipmunks like I got. Alright, so you guys could have fun for days and weeks and months just making your own beat and then adding the vocals and doing something cool. With the vocals, you could also loop up here so you have something that you want to emphasize that the person's saying, and then you can loop it. So it's really cool that you have access to that in the looper screen. And now this screen, you got samples. So you could do the same thing. You could do you could do your own song, and then you could have just the beat playing. So we got the beat. And then if you don't want to record it, just turn off the record, and then, do it, and then just play the vocal. This one's for the ladies. Now, just the beat of one song playing, and then you could add your own samples. I made a video about how to make your own samples, so you guys could check that out if you want to make your own samples. Uh, if you don't, it comes with DJ Pro gives you so many. This is the DJ sound effects. It's like basically all you need. You got your air horn, and then you got laser. Find the song, you just play the beat, and then you can add in these effects and make your own song. You get to really explore your creativity with this app, and I just think it's amazing, and there's really no limit to what you can. You could basically use this software to produce your own song. I'm gonna make a video on how to do that in a new video, but here, let's go. This is Auto Mix. So Auto Mix, I made videos about this. It uses the artificial intelligence to mix the songs for you. It, it's amazing. 
it's if you're at a party and you're DJing, you don't have to be chained to the, to the decks because you can walk away and have it mix perfectly, like 90% of the time. So over here you got your transitions. If you leave it on automatic, it uses artificial intelligence to choose the best transition for the songs you're playing. I don't know how they did that, but it's crazy and every mix is fun. If, if you're driving, I like to put this on when I'm driving, so you, it's like having a DJ riding shotgun with you because it's the mixes are that perfect. So if you want to choose your own, you could choose Neuromix. So this is going to use the artificial technology to separate the vocals from, um, from the beats and do it in an auto mix automatically. So it's using artificial intelligence to use artificial intelligence. And then these other ones, these were there before. You got Dissolve, Riser, Echo, EQ, Filter, Fade. So it's gonna choose, oh, these two songs, I'm gonna do Echo. These two songs, I'm gonna filter it out. So it's really fun and just make a playlist, hit auto mix, and there you go. And then if you have an auto mix playing, you could go back to two decks mode. Press this and then start or stop. Just be careful when you press the button because it'll automatically do the mix. Moving right along to one deck mode. This is where the artificial intelligence really shines. So what you got is you have access to your songs. You're gonna use this menu to organize your songs, to, to, to tweak your songs. You're not really gonna use this live, but before you, you DJ, you're gonna choose a song, and then you say, I want the cue point to be here, and then you want the next cue point to be here, and you have access to all these cue points. There's no real spot for Nero Mix that I know of. If, if you guys find one, let me know. But that's how one deck mode is. One deck mode. Let's take a look. See if you can. Yeah, you can use neural mix in this mode. And now you got four decks, and you could actually mix four songs at a time in this app, which is crazy. You don't need four CDJs that cost like ten thousand dollars. You have four decks right here, and then right here you have your access. How you guys know how to use this vocals. Beat. So you could have all these songs here, four songs playing at the same time, two songs are just the vocals, two songs are just the beat, four songs at the same time. One of these, I usually load up a, a, a scratch tool, so now you got three songs playing and then you could add a little scratch into it. So it's really, really fun, really creative. It's hard to see on the screen sometimes if you have the smaller iPad, but if you have the bigger iPad, you'll be able to see better. I don't really use this screen that much, but it's there, and if you guys want to get really creative, you can. And then if you press the mixer, you got access to your full mixer, including the Nero Mix sl sliders. So you could do four different parts of the song on four songs at one time. It's, it's crazy. I don't know how they figured that out, but you have access to four decks and artificial intelligence. And now video mode. In video mode, you could play music, videos, you could add effects if your iPad or your laptop, whatever you're using is hooked up to a projector or a television or something, you could be doing a video show as you're mixing. It's crazy. And then yeah, you have access to your to just the slider on this. And then if you get rid of your song, your library tab, then you have the full access to the artificial intelligence and you could also auto mix mu music videos so you could have music a um, playlist of music videos playing and it'll use the artificial intelligence to mix the videos and the music that's in the videos so that's really fun too so i explained to you guys exactly where all the access to the artificial intelligence is so if you like this video let me know in the comments what video to make next because I know this app inside and out. So subscribe to the channel and share this with your friends.